Well, hey gang, welcome back to part two of this LaCity power box that I promised you from the first video. So I kind of alluded to the fact that I didn't really like the MPPT in this LaCity box because it's only 10 amps and I don't really know the charging parameters on it. So I mentioned that you can make your own or use your own MPPT charge controller and effectively do the same thing, but know exactly what you're getting and actually up the amperage or voltage that you can put into your battery. So here's my setup. Let me walk you through what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna be using this 200 watt JJN bifacial solar panel, and you can see that it's, it's see-through. And that is because it is bifacial, and that is by design, that is supposed to be more efficient than your standard solar panels that have the white back. So what this solar panel actually does is it can absorb some of the diffused light that gets through the panel, and that diffused light, in theory, bounces kind of back up on the backside. So you're able to get that solar energy that you would have missed out on on a non-bifacial solar panel. And right now, folks, this is at an amazing price at like 179 bucks. So if this thing works well, I'm gonna buy another one to hook up either in series or parallel, I haven't decided yet, but we're gonna test out the, the efficiency of the solar panel. Now to get this solar panel to actually work with this LaCity box, here's what I did. Here's my charge controller. This is a 30 amp Bluetooth charge controller. Not very expensive, it's only 89 bucks, you know, compared to like a Victron or something. But I have the solar panels wired with these little pigtails, connected with MC4 connectors, and I've got a 30 foot, 10 gauge solar wire. So we're gonna actually put this solar panel out in my driveway. So that's the first hookup. The second hookup is actually going into my battery with these two terminals. So I've got, again, a, 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 another pigtail with MC4 connectors. And these MC4 connectors are going directly into one of the Anderson inputs on the side of the LaCity box. This top, Anderson black input is for the actual built-in 10 amp MPPT controller. But this Anderson, if I can get it with one hand, is going into just one of the 50 amp input output ports. So this Anderson input can accept up to 50 amps. And I got this little pigtail off of Amazon. It's just a 50 amp Anderson to your MC4 connectors. And I'm gonna plug it right into here. And now I can monitor all of my solar power through this charge controller, either directly from the screen itself or from the app, because this is a Bluetooth enabled app. So that is the setup. That's how you would install your own solar charge controller and really be able to input a lot more energy into, into your battery, whatever you choose to use if you get one of those uh, LaCiti boxes. So I'm gonna go put this out on my driveway and we're gonna monitor it, see how well it works. So stay tuned. Okay, so right now it is 9 a.m. in the morning. We are inputting 82 watts. And like, let me show you the setup. So I've got this 20 foot, 10 gauge solar cable connected directly to this panel. And you can kind of see the, the shadow underneath this panel being bifacial. So in theory, it should be diff diffusing some of that, that bounce light up to the back of that panel to help you know gain some more efficiency off this panel. Now you're supposed to put these on more of a reflective surface, a white surface. You know, this is, this is fairly light colored concrete, so it's, it's as best as I can do. But right now, you know, the sun's pretty, pretty low on the horizon. And I have this kind of set. I mean, you can see how long the shadow is, so it's not the most optimum angle. But let's see if we're still getting 82 watts. So it'll cycle through. My battery's at 13.5 volts. We're pushing almost 21 volts, six amps. And we're still at 82 watts. So I'm gonna let this thing sit out here and I'm gonna come check back around 10 or 11 this afternoon or this morning and uh, see if we're gonna get anywhere near that 200 watts once I kind of tinker with the angle of that solar panel. So there you go, super simple setup though. Nothing much to installing your own MPPT on this LaCity power box. Okay guys, so check it out. I changed up solar panels because I wanted to just, uh, you know, test it out. So I got that Rofi 200 watt solar panel now hooked up to the MPPT. And both solar panels are basically at the same angle. Uh, they might be off a couple of degrees, but right now I'm getting around 150 watts out of this panel. So let's go double check it and then I'm going to unplug the solar cables from here and then plug them back up to that JJN solar panel. Still averaging, we're down to 147 watts now, but 
Let me go hook up that JJ in again. Okay, so the JJ in solar panel is now connected. And we are getting 130 watts. Roughly 6.8 amps and right around 20 volts. So it is blazing hot outside. Let's check the temperature on this panel. Temperature on the front of this panel is 130 degrees. 123.6 if that shows up. But uh, so far, yeah, the Rofi is doing, did really well with 150 watts, and this thing is averaging around 130 watts right now. Boy. Folks, if you saw the first video, I just kind of wanted to explain what I thought this would be a good setup for if you're going to be using like a, a shed out in your backyard or whatever um, to get free energy, free, free power for your, for your tools. So I've got the, obviously the solar charging this battery. Now, if you have a lot of these 18 volt batteries like this to run your DeWalt's or Ryobi or whatever, you can get a surge protector because this only has one AC output. But get a surge protector that's got eight or nine or ten different receptacles. Plug in all your chargers. Plug in your batteries to this thing. And you can use your solar panels to charge up your battery to charge up your tool batteries. Now this particular charger uses about 40 watts to charge one battery. So you can imagine you can hook up five, six, seven, eight batteries, keep them in your shed, let the sun during the day work to charge this battery up and keep your tool batteries completely topped off without using any grid AC. So that's where I think this would come in handy because this is an all-in-one unit. It doesn't take up any space and so far it works really well. And you can see it is charging and we are still getting solar. 130 watts. So yeah, I'll check back in around noon or one o'clock today. Well, folks, I'm going to wrap up the test here. It's pretty much high noon outside, and I am still getting on average around 135 watts. I did see it climb up to 151 watts for a few seconds, but we're back down to 135 watts. Now, we are close to almost 100 degrees outside right now, so that panel is just baking. Um, I would have liked to have seen at least around 150 watts, but solar is tricky. You got you to have everything perfect perfect alignment, perfect angle. Um, so I could probably have tweaked that a little bit more to get a little bit more output out of that solar panel. But overall, I just wanted to show you folks how easy it is to set up something like this. And again, if you've got like a shed or just something out in the backyard where you just want to, you know, use free energy, you know, I, I say free, you got to buy the, the equipment, of course, but um, once you buy it, you can get free energy. And I think this is a pretty good option. Now, all in, I'll put all the links for everything, but I did a video on the box, it's 158 bucks. The solar panel, I mean the solar charge controller was around $89. The solar panel again was $179. And some odds and ends like this little pigtail was like 10 bucks on Amazon. So um, I'll put a link to all the stuff in the video below, but overall very easy to make uh, if you wanna harvest the sun. And, uh, and, and especially if you have batteries lying around, but if you do have this box or thinking about getting this box, you can absolutely get your own MPPT charge controller and put a lot more solar into your battery than what comes standard on this box. Now you can plug in another little 100 watt panel to that, to that installed MPPT already. Now again, it's rated at 10 amps, so you can't put a whole lot of solar into it, but you could easily plug in a smaller 100 watt panel into the already installed little uh, input here for for this uh, charging box. So you, you many options with this box and it's fun. I like tinkering around with this type of stuff. So um, yeah, until next time folks, we'll see you soon. I got lots of solar projects coming down the pipeline now that it's hot and not fun to be outside. So take care and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.